So I said I'm going to introduce us to a function, and that function is called add columns. So what add columns does is that if you have a DAX code or you have an existing you have an existing table or a DAX formula or code that generates a table, you can add more columns to that table. So we're going to say okay, we know this calendar author is going to give us what's going to give us a column, and that column is called dates and it contains a list of dates. I want you to add more columns to this list of dates. So I'll just come to a new line here by pressing shift and enter and I'll start typing add columns. So shift enter to always come to a new line and what add columns requires is this. First you give add columns a table, right? So you give add columns a table and then once you give add columns a table, you now give it a pair of column names and code to generate the content of the columns, right? So let's say I want to create my year column. Come to a new line here and say, okay, the name of my column is going to be year. Because it's a name, I'm going to put it in double quotes. And what's the formula to generate my year column? It's going to be year. Now, what's the column that contains the dates, right? It's the column I just generated with my calendar auto. And the way to reference it is just to type in dates. And I see dates here. I'll close that and close my add columns and let's just see what this gives us. It's basically in one code, we generate a table that has two columns with our year and our date. So we can just continue to build on this and add in all of the additional columns that we need. So let's add in our months. So we add in our months. I mean, you can use the months function over the dates table, over dates column, right? That gives us our months. Now, because we know the month function is going to generate what's only individual values. So for January, we have one, for February, we have two, for March, we have three. We need to generate the names of these columns, right? January, February, March, April, May. So we we'll create another column and call it month name. And we we'll use a function called format. Format. And what the format function is going to do is you give it a value, give it our dates column. And you're asking how you want to format this value, what formats you want to extract from this value. So we want to extract just the month and then double quotes will type in MMM. Close our double quotes and that gives us the month as a text. Okay. So the month is done. Let's do also the quarter. Right? So for my quarter, I just use my name the column quarter. And the function to get my quarter, if you guessed it right, is is quarter. So again, I give it my date column and it's going to extract for me the quarter. And so I'll hit enter. And you see, basically in one code, I'm just generating all of the multiple columns that I want in here. Okay, so we don't want our quarter to just be numbers. We want it to be Q1, Q2, Q3. We have two options to do that. I can come in here and concatenate Q to this, right, and say prefix whatever is generated here with a Q, and that gives me Q3, Q1, Q2, or I can also use the format function here to build that, and this is how that works. So I'll delete this and say format, and again, I give you my dates table, and then in my format string here, I'm going to use a trick. Now, if I say format just Q, let's see what happens, right? Format Q basically gives us the same thing as what we had before, you just have for Q1 you have 1, for Q2 you have 2, for Q3 you have 3. But I want to prefix this with a Q. What I just do is I come in here in the double quotes and I add a backslash and I put in Q. So what this does is the backslash, everything that follows the backslash or comes right after the backslash is going to keep it as the as a letter itself. So it's going to show Q and then it's going to take this other Q to determine what format I want to get from my dates. So if I do this now, I have my Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Right, so this is a very you know, nice um, little trick that you can use to generate um, dates, dates format. Right, so let's say okay, we have our year, your year, month, and month name. Let's just create one other column that is a combination of our year and month. Right, so let's say we want to show things across the month, but we're going to pass through multiple years. I want the viewers to be able to identify, you know, what month. When we say January is January of 2023, 2024 is January of 2016, 2013, we want to be able to identify that. So. I had a comma in here and we'll call our new column, we'll call it um let's see year month. Year month. Right? So year month and then for our year month column, again we're gonna use the format. So 
format and we're formatting our date and the format we're going to give it if you guess year and month all together so say y y y y put a hyphen m m m close that close our format function now if you hit enter see a combination of our year and our months all nicely put 